David. We're retired and road tripping and we are camping this weekend. We're so excited to be here. Our first time camping on Truman Lake and it is gorgeous. David, tell them where we're at. We're at Bucksaw Park, eight miles southeast of Clinton and Alpha 7. And you take Highway U for three and a half miles to County Road 303. 803, excuse me, then three and a half miles down to the park. Uh, this is a Corps of Engineer campground. It is beautiful. It's uh, March, well, it was just St. Patrick's Day yesterday. 18th. So it's March 18th. It was freezing and it is still pretty cold right now, but we are so excited to be here. We're going to give you a campground tour here in a little bit. Uh, we're getting ready to go eat uh, breakfast with our my daughter and her kids. Uh, we're here for the Twisted Cat fish, Catfishing Tournament. So we'll probably be down there at weigh-in. We're also going to show you uh, how we insulated the inside of our truck camper to keep it a little bit warmer. Uh, we've been following some people and we've been watching some stuff on YouTube and Facebook. And so we got the idea of putting some, what's it called? Reflectives. Reflect reflectives. All the way around up there. And so we're going to show you that. And... Yep, you want to show them those books, Dave? Yes. Let me let me flip that around. There's the books that we got. They're starting to get old, but this is what we use to get information and addresses and uh, how far away it is from certain towns. For Corps of Engineer campgrounds. Yeah, this is Corps, and this here does Corps and other campgrounds in the area. Yep. We will give you a lot more information about Corps Engineer camping. I will show you our view. This lake is gorgeous. There's bluffs across from us. We've driven around this whole peninsula and I'm gonna add in video. It's gorgeous here. We are so happy to be here. We met up with our daughter and grandkids for breakfast down at the restaurant at the marina. They have a variety of food that you can order and grab and go also. Excellent food and very nice people. When you enter the park, there is a check-in gate, a little building. Since we're off season, and David just got his America the Beautiful Senior Pass. It is $5 camping. You turn left for loop A and loop B. All three loops have their own shower house and bathrooms and vault toilets. We're going to go on down here to loop A first. It is a beautiful day here. It is chilly here in Warsaw, Missouri. Well, we're outside of Warsaw, aren't we, Dave? Yes. Now, one thing that I did notice um, with these little camp spots down here in loop A, because we are camped down here. You're going to see us down here in a little bit. Uh, the numbers for your site are on the lantern pole. These sites are single, but down here where, our, where we're camped, the sites seem to make a V, like your neighbor's going to be pretty close. See, that's where we, we're parked, but yet there's another site right beside us. Loop B is up at the top of the hill where you came straight into loop A. You turn left to go into loop B. Starts right away with a pull through site. Number one, you're going to find the site numbers on the lantern poles. Bathroom is over here on the right. It's empty right now because it's March 17th and it got down to 18 degrees last night. 
imagine in the summertime this place is packed if it's not then we're coming back because this is beautiful right over there is the swimming beach we can't get down there because they have that road closed but these sites down here have a beautiful beautiful view of the lake i'll give you these numbers 36 38, Goose Crossing, looks like 39, 39, 40, 40. absolutely beautiful, overflow parking, and another bathroom, 41. Forty-three. All of these sites look like they would be shaded nice during the summertime. That's a nice little spot. Pull through on the end. Yep. You can see some of the storm damage on the ice that had broke some of the limbs off. Yep. 54, 56, 57, 58. Pull through spot right here is 57. Okay, we're at the end of loop B. Come out here and you turn left out of loop B. Here's a nature trail right here. Buxall Nature Trail. Dave said he's seen many trails, trailheads in this little area. We're heading down to Campground C, and let's show them that book, Dave. Here's our new favorite book, RV Log Book. I got it off Amazon. The front of it shows you the national parks that you can check off. And then... Put down the date you was there and that kind of stuff. And then you can get into it and you can answer questions about what you're interested in. Keeping log of campground information so if you ever want to go back to it or not okay. helps, you, helps you remember what you've seen yep here is a playground this is the road that's closed it goes down to the swimming beach i did see a picture online that that swimming beach is very popular i would be down there and we're heading down to loop c primitive sites look like they have an awesome view of the lake over here right out here on the peninsula, aren't we, Dave? Yes, on the very low end of the this peninsula of the South Grand Arm of the Truman Lake. Beautiful view. There's a big site right here. If you're a primitive camper, 108, 108. That is big and that is nice, 105. It could be used as a double. 103. Here's a double. 101. View over there. Look at that. That would be awesome in the fall. Ninety six. 94. These right here, you have no one across from you. There's a string of about 10 of them right here. 88. There's electric air. Coming back up. 
to finish the loop above the primitive. We're at site 30. You're now on the interior of the parking loop C. Another 31. Another playground. Another playground. That's the newer. Here's the newer bathhouse. We are not Corps of Engineer campground experts. So if you all have any tips to share or advice, let us know. I know that I have heard that some Corps of Engineers, you can camp for free at the winter time, but I haven't checked into that. Normally we are not Corps of Engineer campers, but this campground is beautiful. Anything else to say about this campground, Dave? And you got water on both sides here and lots of shade. Lots of We're in Warsaw and Dave found the swinging bridge. Here's a little riverfront trail map. Just some info. And we are heading and there is an eagle's nest on top of the bridge. our current view it is beautiful ah oh. and we're getting ready for supper since i do have electricity we went ahead and brought we have a hot plate put it uh some leftovers in the can cooker junior i put steak with mushroom gravy mashed potatoes and green beans and this is exactly how we love to camp water side Not a soul in sight. We've got the campground to ourselves. Cooker Junior is awesome. I threw all of that food in there together and none of it burnt on the bottom. It's kind of like an instant pot that you can cook over the fire. I've got water in there so that I can wipe it out easier. Dave, what are you doing? Warming up my hands and doing dishes. Okay, what'd you think of today? Today was good. Greg got, got caught some fish, but I don't know what he placed yet. We hadn't heard. Yeah, we haven't heard yet. We're not catfisher kind of people. We don't know how to catch fish. To do a little video about how we put this Reflectix up around the canvas last night. When I got in, I didn't feel like videoing it, but Dave wanted to show you what we got. And then I'll show you a video how it turned out. Hey, this is the Reflectix that we bought. I bought a 25 foot roll that's two foot wide. And we got a 10 foot roll to finish the rest of the inside of this camper. Because we needed about uh, 35 feet to get the most of the camper all the way around. We have been reading some people that have pop-up truck campers up in Canada and Alaska that they use this stuff. They actually, there are some people that live year round in their truck camper up there. So we tried it and it really worked last night, didn't it, Dave? Yes, it made a big difference. Yep, okay. I will show you a video of the finished product. And now, other than if we see an amazing sunset, we will see you in the morning. <laughs>
we're about ready to pop down. We just wanted to show you this reflectance. Dave's keeping it in one piece. Literally, he's just rolling it up. It took us maybe two minutes to put it up this way. And it looks like it's going to be that quick getting it, getting it down. I think this stuff made a world of difference, don't you, Dave? Uh, I wish I knew who I got this idea from so I could give him credit. But it was literally like I just read it on one of my Facebook pages, groups from people camping up in Canada. Uh, how much did it cost you, Dave, at Lowell's? This 25-foot roll was $27 plus tax. Okay, $27, and I think it's going to serve us well. We'll be back in a little bit after we pop down. About ready to put a wrap on this video. We got the camper popped down, and we got the dog loaded up. I don't know if y'all see it back there. He's spoiled. Uh, we've had a great time here at Bucksaw Campground. It has been really nice. I, I highly recommend this campground for sure during shoulder season, which is they have a shoulder season in fall, September and October. And now in spring, we're here. I know it's March 1 to April 15. You can get $5 camping with that America the Beautiful Pass. Woo, it's pretty in the day. Yes, it is. All right, anything else you want to add? Is that it? We see a lot of deer in this campground, too. Yep, there's wildlife. We saw eagles at the first overlook. Uh, highly recommend you all put this one on your list. Bucksaw Campground. It's Corps of Engineer. America's beautiful. Get out and see it. Like and subscribe if you want to. We'll see you on the road.